good morning students okay today i am going to explain about the uh, like uh, what is that a frameworks for the task computing okay in this framework for task computing okay in last class i explain what is the condor and sign grid technology for like the, today i am going to explain about the what is the nimrod okay nimrod is one of the platform for like executing the different uh, computations or different uh, applications okay on this environment first of all like uh, this what is that uh, the, like uh, yeah the the nim role okay it is one of the tool for automated modeling and executions of the parameter suite applications okay uh, then uh, then it is also provides the simple okay declaration like a declarative parametric modeling yeah like modeling as well as the parameter experiments okay and like uh, uh, then so this is about the uh, nimrod i mean so like uh, it is also like uh, manages the several uh, several resources as well as the scheduling algorithms and it is also supports the deadline uh, and uh, like budgets uh, constraints for the uh, different uh, what is that applications and uh, then what is the barkley okay like the barkley sorry what is the uh, boinc okay the boinc which stands for this is the barkley open infrastructure for network computing like uh, it is one of the like framework for uh, volunteer uh, and uh, like a uh, grid computing it is also allows the turning desktop machines into the uh, voluntary computing nodes uh, that are uh, like uh, yeah that uh, like that that are leverages the uh, multiple jobs uh, in the yeah in the, uh, in the machines and uh, like uh, it is also one of the like what is that uh, like it is also contains the two basic components that is uh, bo uh, like boinc server as well as the boinc client uh, like here uh, the client has to provide the multiple applications and uh, the like the server uh, they are going to like executed the uh, like executed the like uh, many number of uh, infrastructures or uh, like applications on the cloud environment uh, along with that it is also supports the many uh, like uh, uh, what is that multiple job checking points as well as the duplications of the applications these all are the like uh, supports for the job executions or uh, uh, yeah job executions in the boinc environment uh, then one more thing uh, like that is like what is that uh, like that is the last uh, like a uh, technology which we are going to use for the uh, like uh, framework for the task computing that is for the like nim rodal okay nim uh, like uh, sorry uh, like what is that uh, global stole kit okay the global stole kit which uh, it is the collection of uh, technology that uh, that can be enabling the grid computing and it is also provides for the conference set of tools uh, for sharing the computer power, compute computing powers databases the different types of clusters and other services okay in the uh, well, like um, yeah in the geographic boundaries and it is also provides the many type of services libraries and resource monitoring and like this uh, like global toolkit address uh, okay they are going to issues for the grid computing as well as distributed environment with the uh, what is that heterogeneous resources so this is about the uh, framework of the uh, task computing then i'll move on to the next topic uh, like that is task based applications model okay here the task based applications model okay uh, here we are going to uh, like what is that uh, talk about the embarrassingly parallel applications as well as the uh, parameter suite applications then uh, mpi applications that is message passing interface applications so these all are the three technology or methods we are going to use for the task based applications then what is the embarrassingly parallel applications uh, see like the embarrassingly parallel applications okay which is nothing but uh, here uh, here like uh, like many number of uh, parallel applications okay they are going to consist uh, like what is that uh, like uh, constituted uh, by a collection of uh, what is the task that are independent from each other that can be executed in any order uh, and then like uh, the this task may be a, like maybe the same type or it may be a different nature and they are like they do not need to communicate among the themselves so this is what the embarrassingly parallel application definitions and uh, like the, these are the several problems okay that can be modeled uh, like yeah modeled as well as the like what is that uh, embarrassingly parallel uh, these includes the message as well as the uh, like video rendering evaluation optimization model forecasting okay these all are the different uh, okay methods uh, uh, like techniques okay they are going to composed in this 
applications okay along with that okay they are like this embassy parallel computing system okay they are going to supports for the different uh, what is that uh, uh, framework for the task computing that is just now only i told that is uh, nimrodal then uh, like bo inc then as well as the aneka then globus toolkit these are the different okay embassy parallel applications okay which is going to supported then what is the parameter sweeped applications okay the parameter sweeped applications uh, like here uh, like all the applications okay there it is going to made up with uh, uh, that is full of what is that like uh, it, is, it should be a completing okay uh, completely uh, it is going to made up with uh, identifier as well as the uh, uh, like uh, parameters okay it contains the value values okay as well as the identifier this parameter sweeped applications okay uh, they are going to uh, like they are going to define the task or uh, uh, task with the different operations okay that can be performed on the remote node for the executions of the task and like here uh, like parameter applications they are going to identify the template task as well as the set of parameters okay just now only, only i told okay uh, then uh, um, like uh, then this uh, here you look at this uh, see this is a parameter sweep applications for a uh, syntax uh, here the individuals as well as the generation okay here the individuals okay they are going to contain set of uh, set of values or set of identifiers then generations also okay it contains the set of values individuals and generations okay which is nothing but it is the identifier sorry it is the one of the variable names okay these all are the two variable names okay which we are um, um, which we are going to use in the uh, this uh, parameter applications okay these two are contain some set of values and for each okay for each individual values okay uh, they are going to generate it the okay uh, what is that generation value means like for each time okay the individually okay they are going to perform the individuals value uh, uh, along with that for each time okay the generation value so for yeah the, the generations okay this value they are going to execute it the whatever it's having the generation uh, what is that variables that everything they are going to executed okay this both individuals as well as the generations they are going to perform the like they are going to perform some task that task it may be okay addition of two numbers or it may be subtraction of two numbers or it is a division or multiplication okay these all are the like a different task they are going to perform so based on the uh, what is customer or based on the client okay client requirement they are going to execute the values and finally once they are going to execute the values finally they are going to uh, submit that particular task so this is about the syntax of the parameter swift applications then what is the mpi applications okay the mpi applications which is nothing but okay it is a message passing interface uh, uh, applications and uh, like this message passing interface as the application okay it is a like first of all they are going to use for this applications for, uh, for for developing the parallel programs okay the parallel programs which is nothing but okay in single platform or in the single environment we are going to uh, executed many number of programs or many number of applications or multiple applications okay which we are going to execute in the single platform so this is about the parallel programs or it may be a parallel applications okay uh, like whatever the applications or whatever the program we are going to execute in that uh, uh, like in, in the like specific platform okay uh, for that they are going to communicate it by uh, like by using this uh, interface by using the message passing interface and whatever the data or whatever the information okay they have communicated uh, along with that they are going to exchanging the message okay from source to destination or destination source okay this, this will be happens for the vice versa uh, then along with that okay this MPA applications okay they are going to uh, like uh, what is that provides the many number of uh, uh, set of routines that is managing the distributed environment whether sorry where mpi programs are executed as well as it like it uh, facilitates the point to point communication and group of communication and this also supports the data structure structure definition and memory allocations and like it's the basic support for synchronization with blocking calls so these all are the different okay routines they have contained then see look at this diag uh, diagram this is the mpi reference scenarios okay here see just now one okay this mpi they are contain set of some routines that is uh, 
in the mpa world okay we are going many number of uh, what is that uh, communicators or it may be clients uh, they have going to made up with two, two groups that is group a as well as the group